the recording. Amen. So, okay, so we are recording now. We're going to get ready to get started. We will not be long tonight, but we do have some important um, information that we want to share uh, with you. First of all, um, let's get, get through our homework, which is the somewhat almost the least. So it, it was so many papers, there were so many similar, had so many similar experiences and so many similar thoughts. So, um, and that's okay. So uh, last week, uh, we did ask, we gave you two various scenarios. Uh, and the scenario, one scenario was that if there's a wife that's going to church as a husband that decides he wants to go somewhere different, which, which meaning church, and uh, what does she do? Then the other scenario is that maybe a wife, again, a woman, again, that has a child. She is in a dating process. She's found someone that she's a gentleman that she's very comfortable with. Uh, but the daughter at this time is acting out very uh, very much, and uh, so she's in, she feels like she's losing her daughter, and her daughter is acting up mainly because, and this happens a lot of time when children um, maybe feeling someone is coming in, they don't want to replace their dad, don't this or that, and so so what does a woman do? Majority of you overwhelmingly dealt with the very first scenario, um, and so um, so I, I actually. Um, Pretty much again, everybody pretty much said the same thing. There are many of you didn't get your hand, didn't hand homework in at all. So, but um, if you didn't hand your homework in at all and you didn't contact me about you're going to be late, then um, again, uh, don't even worry about it. Okay. Uh, so let's go on. And don't worry about it, don't mean that it's not going to be repercussion because it is. Uh, but let me share this with you. We're, we're we're, this is week seven, am I correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. This, this is week seven. Now, I'm not going to go with the homework because I have. I need to get um, get some other things done. Thank you for your homework assignment. Like I said, most of everybody's pretty much said the same thing, so we're not going to have no debate. There, there wouldn't be any argument. There is not going. Pretty much everybody. Uh, there are some of you that did write about your own personal experiences and this nature, but. Um, so we're not we're not going to try to make something out of that. But this is what I want to do. I want you to turn with me uh, to First Kings three and one in your Bibles. First Kings, the third chapter, and I believe it's the I believe it's the first verse. <coughs> now, now, even though graduation is coming up just a few weeks away. I've got to start doing some things now. I've really got you, you guys are somewhat behind in homework uh, elevation. And when I say homework elevation, I'm talking about um, we got to get some of you up to the bachelor level. Some of you need to get up to the master's level and definitely the doctor level. We have been far behind uh, as far as uh, the homework is concerned, um, as far as issuing homework. And that's on me. So tonight, we're going to start with that. So we just this is our last week. Week eight is testing week, right? So now in First Kings three and one, here is a story that uh, pretty much that where Solomon, um, where God pretty much asked Solomon to ask for what he wants. Does anyone have them like to read that for us, please? I have it. Yes, please read that for us, please. And Solomon made affinity with Pharaoh, king of Egypt and took Pharaoh's daughter and brought her into the city of David until he had made an ending of building his own house and the house of the Lord and the wall of Jerusalem uh, round out. Um, is that it? I'm looking, hold on. First, first Kings King. I thought it was First Kings three and maybe I wasn't right with the one word. Excuse me for a second, let me. Pull out my day. Where God is granting Solomon his desire and granting Solomon his wish mm -hmm. uh, uh, concerning uh, what he wanted, Solomon wanted. Um, I wrote down three, uh, First Kings 3 and 1, but maybe mm -hmm. I shouldn't have been that. If I might, I'm thinking it was 11. Anyone else has First Kings 3 open up? Have your Bibles open up? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and you don't see it nowhere in that chapter. Yeah, what? Concerning God asking Solomon what is his desire, and Solomon said, and Solomon asked for wisdom. I can't, it's on my phone, but I can't. It says Solomon asked for wisdom, and uh, it's showing oh. in 1 Kings 3, 
We just might not have the right scripture. Um, I think it's verse. Be, it's Solomon's choice of wisdom would be uh, verse five. Okay, go ahead. Please go down to that. Thank you. In Gibeon, uh, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said, thou hast showed unto thy servant, David, my father, great mercy, according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept for him this great kindness that thou hast given him a son to sit on, on his throne as it is this day. That, that, well, that went all the way up to verse six. That, is there more that you want me to read? Uh, read on, read the next verse, please. Okay. And now, O Lord, my God, thou has made thy servant king instead of David, my father. And I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in. Read on. Uh -huh. Okay. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. People Read on. Yes, please. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this, thy, uh, thy so great a people? Yeah. And this, uh, go oh, okay, go ahead. Sure, no, you go ahead. Oh, okay. And God said unto him, because thou hast asked this thing and has not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor has asked the life of thine enemies, but has asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and an understanding heart so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. Should I keep going? Okay. I know, stop right there. Now I want us to go into the book of the Song of Solomon, the first chapter, Song of Solomon, the first chapter, and someone can start reading that once you get it. <laughs> well, actually, no, not Song of Solomon, excuse me, go to Ecclesiastes, excuse me. Ecclesiastes, the first chapter. Verse. Verse one. The words of the preacher, the son of yeah. David, king in Jerusalem. That's all it says. Yes, re read on, please. Start reading from there. Vanity of vanities, saith the preacher. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What profit hath a man? of all his labor, which he taketh under the sun. One, gener on. one generation passeth away and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth for thee. I mean, forever, excuse me. The sun also ariseth and the sun goeth down and, and hasteth to his place where he arose. The wind goeth toward the south and turneth about unto the north. It whirleth about continually and the and the wind <clears throat> returneth again according to his circuits. Read verse seven, you can stop there, please. Okay. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full unto the place from hence the rivers come, thither thy return again. Okay, so we're, he's looking doing some observation there. Uh, now this is this is uh, what I need for homework. Last week we started off with a homework assignment. I'm doing the very same thing again. I need you to I need you to look at Kings, First Kings three five, and that whole um, conversation that God is having with Solomon. I need you to read that. I need you also to read Ecclesiastes. Uh, this is about, um, I would say what, about the 12 chapters, 12 chapters in Ecclesiastes. You won't need to read the whole thing, but this is what I need from everyone, okay? I need you to do uh, an essay or a thesis, or some might call it a small dissertation. Now, um, 
when it comes down to an essay or a thesis state uh, thesis, there is such thing called a thesis statement. A thesis statement is pretty much what you're uh, writing or what you're gonna be writing about. It's no more than a paragraph long. That's just thesis statement. So what I'm looking for is that we're doing a study on wisdom. Solomon, the, the Bible says that there were, God granted Solomon this and there shall be, there was no man like him before and no man after him. So my, the, so the question for your thesis is, why did Solomon end up in the backslidden state that he ended up after he was the wisest man before and after? What happened to him? Your research paper. This is a research paper. Okay. And you're asking that question. Why did he backslide? What happened to him? What are the conditions? So in your research, uh, you need to again go back to the, to the very beginning of it. Uh, the first mention principle we're kind of looking at when he talked with God, God granted him for what he wanted, had some good things to say about his, uh, his, uh, his, his wish. And so as you're writing that, your first paper, again, should, uh, again, have your heading, your, your first, when is your heading paper, which is the name of the school, the name of your class, the name of your assignment, your name, date, and my name. That's your first paper. I want their whole heading there. Okay. So, and the name of your uh, and, and and your assignment, which is a study of Solomon. Okay. Backslidden condition. So now, as you put it together, I want this thing written very professionally. This should be at I would say at probably a minimum of three pages because you got one page. You're doing a title page. So the one page it should be a table of content. A table of content. Like page one, what am I going to be reading about? It could be the history of Solomon. Uh, it could be uh, Solomon's gratefulness. That's page one. So just like just like a book, I want to see page two. What am I going to be looking at at page two? Your table of contents should tell me. So as as a, as I've, I've worked, we're in school now. So therefore, if a professor is looking at your paper, uh, they're looking at the table of contents, uh, and so they might be looking for certain things now. What you're doing, page three, is saying uh, Solomon um, returns back to his glory. Uh, his mind is restored. That that's page three. So this, so these are things that I'm looking for, uh, for as far as your uh, essay is concerned. And so, uh, it, I, but I'm looking at, I'm saying a minimum of three papers because three papers is uh, writing upon this topic is not going to do it because I need one paper title page, two, table of content, and three, you, uh, at the top of page three is your thesis statement telling me what uh, pretty much the gist of what you're writing, what you discovered. Okay, there is a lot to discover. There's a lot of things that this man said, but we're talking about wisdom. This We're concluding this. Um, like we're doing a, a course, a study on wisdom, there's no other person that we could bring into the picture than King Solomon himself. So, but he made a lot of interesting statements. So we want to learn. All, so next week, our final week, uh, you're going to get your test, but we want to go over some of these papers. Now, I'm going to have several other of my already graduated doctoral students to help me go over your paper. So your paper will be read. They all won't be read by me, but it'll be read by my staff, okay? So- Dr. I, Short. Yes, ma'am. Do we have to cite the our sources and things like that as yes, well? All, yes, ma'am. All uh, sources must be cited on your last page. Okay, all sources are, I'm saying this because um, our accreditation requires it and I have to do whatever it takes to keep my accreditation. I have to do whatever it takes to keep up. So this is what we're doing. So as you grow further, you, some of you going towards your bachelor's and master's level, you're, you'll be getting less tests and more writing because it's the writing that shows the development of your thinking. Dr. Short. So, yes, ma'am. Um, I know how to write the ML. MLA style, what style do you want us to write since it's a scientific paper like? What what style? Uh, Not the MLA, I can't think of the other one. Yeah. 
Say it again. APA. Yeah, the APA style pretty much is what we've been pushing. All right, thank you. Not like it's a drug, but <laughs> <laughs> been pushing. Sorry, <laughs> forgive me. I went back too many years pushing. Yeah, APA style. <laughs> okay. So if you have to look that up, look that up, please. APA style pretty much it gives you the font size. You're you're also you're skipping a line. You're not. It's it's all shouldn't be all closed up together. It's, it's the line. Um, then you skip a line and and so so again. So if you're doing five pages, five pages is really only like two pages and a half. Mm -hmm. So if you if you do it right, it's not that much. But I'm saying I, at a minimum three. If you give me pretty much just three papers, I know you haven't done no research at all. You really haven't done no research. There's no way in the world. More than likely, you're gonna have each one of you're gonna have at least five, anywhere up to ten. I'm not putting a limit on your pages because I'm gonna have other people help me read your pages. If I gotta go to some of my other schools and get some help, okay. So I want. So actually, you got. You can start tonight on your research. At least get your title page done tonight because I'm letting you done early. At least get that done tonight. That's your homework. Get that done, okay. It's kind of hard getting your table of content done. But at least what you want to do tonight, as I'm going to let you go in a few minutes, at least read a, a part of the book of Ecclesiastes. And if you have to go to, uh, to Kings, read some of that. Start working on it tonight because you only have a week to have it done. I need it done by next Monday. I'm giving you past Sunday as long as you, I get it sometime Monday. Now, some of your, this is going to be a large part of your grade. This will be at least 30% of your grade along with your test. So this is an important paper. If you're going to be late on it, I just need you to say, Dr. Short, I'm working on my page. I'm going to be a little late. I just need you to come to let me know. Don't let me know uh, after or during class. Let me know before class that your paper is going to be late. Okay? So um, I think uh, sure. that, uh, Yes, sir. Uh, well, I got more than one question. I'd like to know, first of all, uh, when will we receive the test, final exam? The, the test won't come out until after we go through this. It won't come out until next week. Next week, okay. Yeah, this is week seven. The test won't come out. The test will come out during week eight. Um, and I will let you know the next course is going to be this week. You're, you're going to uh, get a, um, a email from me this week with your next course and the book you can, that you have to order. No now, problem. What we're doing is uh, more so to say it's on the wisdom of Solomon. Is that what we're doing, basically, for this uh, particular essay? Yeah, this essay, yes, is is, is not just a synopsis. Uh, uh, pretty much, it's a synopsis. Pretty much is just saying, uh, it, it's just identifying what we already see. But I want you to look deeper into him because you're looking at your analyze. You're being analytical. Why? He backslid. Slid. Where was the start of his backsliding? Where did his thinking go wrong? We want you to be a little more analytical. Okay, thank you. And there is a place. Even bring up some bring up some good detail. When he prayed for this, but when did, when was his prayer answered? Bring that could be content one, page one. When his prayer his prayer and 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 the answer could be page one. I really, you really need to do a good, especially if you're on the master's doctor level, your paper need to be excellent. But everybody's going to be excellent because I told you how to appease me. And that is your title page, content page, and the rest of it. And you have a week. If you're going to be late, let me know by Sunday that you're not, because you know by Sunday if you're going to be done by Monday sometime or not. If you're not if you're gonna if you're not gonna be done until Monday, that tells you already I'm not I have read your paper. But that's still but I'm I'll have your paper read before the end of the eighth week, but you'll still be getting your test. But I will be sending you a grade to your paper. So your paper will be getting a grade on it. So now the title of page consists of you say the name of the school, name of the teacher, and what else? The, na the name of the course. The name of this course. Is the, the 48 laws of, of power. Your, the name of your, your homework assignment. What is, is the homework assignment? The, 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 you can use the title for uh, uh, Study of Solomon. Okay. Yes, make it simple. 
but your research uh, of Solomon and his backsliding condition, that's what you're, it's pretty much what you're looking at. So you're doing pretty much a, and you want to answer certain questions. You might have some questions. And if you're going to answer certain questions, you, that might be in your table of content. The reason why he backslid. Did he ever get restored? If he got restored back, did he ever get his right mind back? Mm -hmm. How can, then you might want to ask the question that the average person would ask, how can the widest person in the world backslide? Mm -hmm. You want, that'd be one major question that needs to be answered. There's nobody like you. So at the widest man backslid, where are we at? <laughs> so, but let's research it. This is why we're doing a research paper. And this book, and again, we're blessed that we're not doing, you know, song, Psalms or something like that with all these chapters. This is a pretty much just 12 chapters. I believe. I'm looking now, yeah, just 12 chapters. But I don't think it's gonna take all 12 chapters uh, for the most part, because all you need to do is just skim and get, go to the 12, but you pretty much just skim. You don't have to read every, you can kind of get a gist of every chapter what the chapter is about, especially if you got a good Bible, because your good Bibles at the end of at the beginning of every chapter is gonna give you some type of heading. Uh, okay, so we got so you I gotta let you guys go because you got have a lot to do. So I'm gonna post a video so that uh you can hear again what I was saying. So you don't have to call me and, and be asking, I'm not sure what you say. Give me a few minutes, I'm gonna post the video, go to YouTube, listen to it again. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Love it. I'm excited about seeing your research paper. And um, uh, those on Wednesday night, I will catch you Wednesday night. God bless you. May I have a smile upon you. Uh, again, if you have any questions that's not on the video, give me a call sometime tomorrow. I will address your question. That's not on the video. God bless you, everyone. All right. Good night. Everybody. Uh, everybody, uh, everybody good, night. Night. Good, night. <laughs> good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.